Welcome back, 914. So later on today, uh, NOAA and NASA teaming up to give us a better look, not at space, but at Earth. The agencies are launching an advanced satellite that'll impact how we get our weather forecast. So joining us live from the National Weather Service, Mike Stavish. Mike, thanks for being with us. Good morning. I'm happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Oh, absolutely. So um, we were joking during the break, you're going to help keep this simple for us <laughs> down, down on Earth as we talk about this satellite here. Um, uh, we're talking about weather from space. I mean, how does this work exactly? Well, today we're, we're seeing the, the GOES-T satellite launch. Uh, it's going to go up shortly after 1.30 Eastern time. It's the third in a series of uh, four geostationary satellites called the GOES-R series. Uh, this satellite is going to be placed in geostationary orbit over the Pacific Ocean. A geostationary means it sits there at a point over the Earth's surface and it rotates at the same speed as the Earth. So what we see below it is essentially a movie of what's going on uh, in the atmosphere. So when we talk about the way that this is going to help us see weather, is this, is this going to give us more complete results or faster results or both? Actually both. Okay. I, I like to compare the, uh, the new satellite versus old satellites. It's like comparing an old standard definition television to a high definition television. We see clearer pictures in higher resolution and we see them more frequently. Uh, so the scanning strategy of the satellite allows us just to see uh, crisper pictures and allows us to see them uh, sooner than we would have in the past. And I love the comparison, Mike, by the way, to the, the, the TV comparison. Uh, I can definitely wrap my brain around that one. Um, I mean, let's talk a little bit about what it's going to help us see. I mean, environmental hazards. I mean, we have wildfires all the time here in our area, in our region, uh, you know, becoming more and more common. Um, so how can a satellite like this uh, help us out when we're facing those threats? Yeah, that, that, that's a very important part of the satellite, one that I am passionate about is its capabilities at detecting hot spots on the surface of the earth. So the satellite can detect uh, fire initiation, uh, not only in the West, but all over the US, and can help fire managers on the ground with uh, initial attack decisions and allow them to reach fires quicker. And uh, not only does it detect where fires are, it helps us to understand things about the intensity of the fire and where it's moving to, what direction it might be headed. Last but not least, with regard to fire, uh, wildfire smoke. It's been very impactful over the West over the past several years. Many of us have had very unpleasant experiences at times dealing with wildfire smoke in the summer. This gives us a crisp, very good picture of where the smoke is and allows us to help, help forecasters predict when it's gonna clear out and where it's moving to. Mike, this is super helpful, and it sounds like it's going to help us do our jobs better as well. I want to bring in our meteorologist, Abby Oconee, because, Abby, I know you're geeked about this, and, so and you have a question as well. <laughs> yeah, basically, Mike, I just wanted to ask, what are the fanciest things that this satellite can do? You've been talking about a little bit, but just show off a little bit. I want to hear how exciting this is. What are some of the specs on this thing? Yeah, well, I'll tell you what. Um, the, the, the capabilities with regard to fire detection, as I've just described, that's pretty cool. Uh, in addition, the, the resolution of the pictures that we can get uh, down to a half kilometer resolution at the Earth's surface when we're looking at visible imagery. Um, we can see things uh, over the Pacific Oceans and, and be able to interpret things like the, the quantity of moisture coming in with landfalling Pacific storms and uh, atmospheric river events. I know you guys up, up in uh, your neck of the woods are experiencing a lot of rain right now. Uh, the rapid uh, picture taking, if you will, scanning strategy of the satellite just allows us to see things uh, in such a high resolution detail versus how we used to see them it provides forecasters with, with that, that step forward, that, 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 that foot in the door to provide quicker and more accurate forecasts and warnings for uh, significant weather events. This is awesome information, and you're yeah. right. It's going to help our people do their jobs better as well. National Weather Service's Mike Stavish, thanks for joining us. Thanks, we appreciate Mike. it. Thank you so much. I had a great time. Oh, it was good having you. All right, so 9.15.